Let's do an experiment which may result in lots of sticky plastic smoke. This is a cable from a very, very dangerous eBay product, and even the cable that came with it was dangerous. Let me just show you why. It's copper-coated steel. A magnet sticks to it, which is a fairly high resistance. It has been made down to the lowest cost possible. I'm going to apply 5 amps through it. I've put a shorting link over the end. I'm going to pass 5 amps through it and measure the voltage across it. And we'll see what happens to the cable if it withstands that 5 amps well. So let's do that experiment now. So there's now 5 amps flowing across it. It's a surprisingly high voltage drop of 6 volts across it. And that is increasing. It's going up uh, as the cable heats up. I'm not seeing smoke yet, but I am seeing the cable move slightly. So at 9 volts, well, it's actually heading for 10 volts. That'll be about... Yeah, 5 amps, that's a lot. That's about 50 watts that is being dissipated by that cable, is it? Oh yes, it's very hot and stinky. Oh, it is getting very, very stinky and I can see smoke. It's all blistering. Uh, perhaps I shouldn't have done this on the bench. Uh, the current is going down because the voltage is going up. The whole thing is literally just, is it going to burst into flame? Should I have a fire extinguisher handy for this? At 16 volts at that. I'm uh, just going to grab my fire extinguisher. I'm regretting doing this on the bench. Uh, fire stuff. Lots of smoke. The, the current's going down because the voltage is capped. Uh, it's glowing red hot there. Uh, I'm surprised it's not burst into flames, but you know, that could have happened. Maybe it is flame resisting cable. But um, is it just going to burn itself out? It's currently at 3.6 amps. Uh, I can't go any higher with this because it's literally the voltage has risen right up to the point that it's capping out on the power supply at that 6 amps, the 5 amp setting. Uh, but I think that more... Oh, there we go. Uh, right, hold on. Uh, let's just uh, extinguish that and uh, basically turn the, the power off now because, well, it's going to make a complete mess of the bench. So that was just 5 amps through one of these cables. If you use that cable in another product that took it and ran at a slightly higher current, or if there was a fault, you saw the voltage across it, that would uh, not end well. That would be quite a dramatic fire starter. That's what happens with some of these cheap products being shipped through grey market import sources.